Children at Karen's school. Oh. And there are 763 children at Jason's school. Oh, okay. Now, which school has more than 759 children? That's the question. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do is first take a look at what 760, 759 children. Looks like. Okay. Oh, here oh it there is. it is. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? I do. This is a hundred block, right? Mm -hmm. So we can count all the hundred blocks yes. and the ten blocks and the one block. Right. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. This is one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. And 700. Yep, that's 700. Mm -hmm. How many tens do we have? Let, let's just count one. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five tens. So what is that? 50. 50. So we have 750, and then we have a bunch of ones. Five. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine. nine. So there are nine there. All together, we have 759. Uh huh. Now this is the number of children that we're going to compare the number of children in all the other schools with. So we need to find out which school has more than seven hundred fifty-nine children. Exactly right. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, now let's take a look at the number of children at Dan's school. Oh. He his school has seven hundred forty-eight children. All right. Now yeah. we want to know if that number of children is more than 759. So what we're going to do is compare all of the blocks. Okay. okay. So do you see that they each have the same number of hundreds? Yes, they do. Okay. So that part so the far same. so good. Yes. <laughs> so now we're going to compare the number of tens. Mm. So which school mm. has more tens? Let's count. This one we know actually has five tens. Right. Fifty, exactly. Fifty. And this school has one, one two, two, three, three four, four tens. So since four tens is less than five tens, or 40 is less than 50, we know mm. that Dan's school does not have more children than 759. Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, child's school. Karen's school. Oh, let's see. Karen's school has 651 children. Now let's compare the hundreds. Here we go. Oh, oh Professor Rena, look at that. Mm -hmm. What do look, you think? Karen, Karen's school only has 600. That's right, and we know 759 so that has 700. So that cannot be the answer. That's right. Because 600 is less than 700, the number of children at Karen's school is not more than 759. Mm. All right, let's take a look at the last school. That's Jason's school. Yeah. He has 763 children at his school. Now we need to know if that is more than 759. Okay. Okay, now let's compare the hundreds first. Oh, looking good. It's looking the same. Good. Yeah. yeah, the same number. So we have 700 here and 700, 700 there. there. Okay, so now let's compare the tens. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Okay, now uh, in 759, there are five tens. We know that, right? Yes. Well, how many tens are there at Jason's school? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's there's right. There's six, so that's more. That's more. That that's is right. More. Because six tens is greater than five tens, uh -huh. the number of children at Jason's school is more yeah. than 759. So Jason's school has the most children. That's right. Jason's <sighs> school has more than 759 children. Oh, thanks, Professor Rena. You know, um, do you think you might be able to help me with one other problem before you go? Sure. What can I do? Well, 
I need some dance moves to really blow people away at the dance. Well, did you ask Emmett for any ideas? Yes, but he keeps giving the same answer. Well, what's that? He wants to do the robot. Oh, the robot. Well, let's try it. Okay.